welcome to my channel. This is my second episode. Before we begin, two quick mentions. First thing, thank you to those of you that have subscribed to my channel. Your names will be mentioned over here. And to those of you that like the video on the forum, your names will be mentioned here. The second thing is why am I wearing this today? Simple, I need a haircut. Leave it at that. Now, moving on to the fun part of the video. Now, this is aimed at the beginners. So, we can't exactly play at the moment for certain reasons. So hopefully, when all is safe, we're giving the thumbs up all clear, fingers hopefully soon, we can go back out onto the field and play a good game. So, you've got four things you'll get when you win. Face protection, riff, ammo, and an overall. I highly recommend, for a beginner, to use all of them. However, there is another option which I am now going to go over with you. Now, thankfully, I bought all this stuff in advance before I went into Airsoft, so I highly recommend you look into this as well. Five things to buy when you first start off. Now, there are going to be three things that I'm not going to cover in this video. That is face protection, rigs, or riffs. Because when you rent, you don't really need that stuff. It's going to be given to you. And sometimes, actually, just out of curiosity, Sometimes they will provide you with a rig, but that's very rare nowadays that I see. Now, first things first. Get yourself a good pair of boots. Second hand, doesn't matter. These are second hand and they've lasted me for years. Also, get a good pair of socks to go with your boots. Helps protect your ankles, very important. If you can't move, well then, you've ruined your day. Protect your joints. Get some knee pads, elbow pads optional as well. Knee is very important, so I use them all the time, knee pads. I very rarely, if at all, now use elbow pads. But again, that's preference, that's my second thing. Third thing, like any game, you customise yourself, like Battlefield or Call of Duty, get yourself some good BDU gear. Now this is DPM, I like it, it's my favourite camo. I've used this, this is my beginner loadout by the way. So get yourself some good cargo pants and a good shirt, and already you're blending in. That's my third thing. The fourth thing, if you live in the UK, and the weather can get cold, but not as bad as certain places in the world, get a smock. Simple reason, keeps you warm, whilst you're waiting. Now the last thing, number five, get yourself some waterproofs. Because again, in the UK, it does tend to rain. And I've seen a lot of people just walk off the field, depending on how heavy the rain is, of course, because they haven't got any waterproofs and they leave early. So, make sure you get yourself a pair of that. And that's it, five things right there. So again, boots, knee pads, regular BDU, a smock for the warmth, and waterproofs for the cold, rain and mud. And those are five things there that I would highly recommend you look into because if you do that, you're saving yourself a lot of time whilst you're waiting for the crisis to end and it will prepare you for the field. And that's it for today. So, like, comment, share, and subscribe. Make sure you tick the little bell as well so you get notifications. And more importantly, in the next episode, I will actually be covering pretty much everything you've seen in my first loadout. So I look forward to that. Can't wait. Just make sure you stay safe.